Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're doing another episode of checking out some of your guys' systems. So today we've got two systems to do from Blizmo Games. So I'll leave a link to him down below like I do always do on these videos. But anyways, um, I want to quickly say a massive thank you to you all because we hit 4,700 subscribers today. So yeah, wow. We are close to that 5,000 mark. That is crazy. We are right now. 295 subscribers away we are really really close so yeah just a massive thanks to everyone who subscribed obviously today and obviously massive thanks to everyone who's uh, continued to watch my videos and yeah keeps enjoying them massive thanks to you guys so yeah massive massive thanks indeed though like for real it's absolutely amazing how far this is um channel has gotten now but anyways let's actually begin with today's episode so yeah like i said we've got two simulations from blizmo games so yeah, the first system is called HD999 system, and it includes a yellow main sequence start and two. I can't read the rest because the link, or like the it just goes dot 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 after that. So right, let's see where we are going. Yeah, okay, right, let's get into this. So it's called uh, 999. Oh no, not yeah, 999. Okay, here we go. With yellow, with yeah, includes yellow main sequence start and two brown dwarfs. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Alright, ooh, a lot of stars. Oh, I can see what it is. They're the brown dwarfs. Okay, so how big is this system? Okay, so it's a triple star system, so it's quite a... S oh, that, this is literally it. Okay, so let's see here. Let's click play and let's watch this simulation go. So, main sequence start and two. So I'm guessing this is all... Uh, I'm guessing this is stable, I'm assuming. Oh, those two look like they can uh, wobble a bit. Okay. So yeah, includes two yellow main. Did he say anything else about this system? Let's have a look. Oh, they're going in like a binary orbit. Oh, they look a little uh, unstable there. So, um, okay. Well, yeah, we'll um, keep watching. Let me just see how large are these guys. So that is... Okay, so not much larger than the sun. And then the two brown dwarfs here. Okay, so they're not that large either. They are pretty big, actually. I'll, I'll say they're sort of red dwarf size, some of them. But um, yeah, there we go. So that is the first system. Obviously... There's not really much to uh, show here since there's only three objects and we can see all of them already. But yeah, it looks like, yeah, I'd say that's, um, well, it's not completely stable, but none of the objects are getting tossed out. So yeah, there is that first system. Okay, so we'll move on to the next system now. So the next one's called the Amphora system. So let's go ahead and search that up. So A N T. -A. Okay, there we go. So let's see here. Okay, so um, Amphora Binary Star System. Welcome to the Amphora, a binary star system with a very odd blue subgiant star and a yellow white dwarf star only being the age of the sun. The main star has around six planets, while the dwarf star only has three planets around it as of right now. It is still being observed by scientists and other people looking at the two star system and even the planets it includes some Hattable planets, a rocky planet, a gas giant and even some moons in the simulation. It is still unknown why the main star is so old. And that it should have died. Okay, so here we go. So we've got Amphora, and then we've got um, this star, v Vernista. So that's the dwarf star. Okay, so we'll start off at Amphora. Oh, and I'm liking that yellow object, but we'll go to that in a minute. Okay, so here we go. Oh, nice and bright. Okay, so 10 masses of suns. I'm guessing the age is really, really high. 11.6 G years, so giga years, I think they're called. So yeah, a lot. That's like 11 billion years. That's that's pretty old. So yeah, there is Amphora there. Well, I think it's a billion years. I know it's called giga years, but I think... One gig year is a billion years. Someone correct me if I'm wrong, but that's what I think. Okay, so first planet here, we got Geta. So it's first, um, yeah, first things here. This is a uh, obviously a Mercury-like object. It's a trend with most systems is it's usually a Mercury-like object. Rocky, obviously no atmosphere. It's quite large though, bigger than the Earth itself actually. So it's like a giant Mercury right here. Okay, so there is um, Geta or Jet. Yeah, Geta. I think is how you say that. Okay, next up we have got Yito. Okay, so this is the Earth-like world, I'm guessing, at 12 degrees. So here it is here. Whoa, what's this, um... What's that mark doing there? I don't know. What is that? What's that coming from? Um, if we take the atmosphere off, does it go away? What is causing that? Is there a moon I missed? What's causing that shadow? There's nothing blocking the, in front of the star, I don't think. There's, no, there's nothing close to the star, is there? No? Why is there an eclipse there? You're going to have to tell me how it's doing that. How is there a shadow here? When I zoom out, the shadow goes away. That's very strange. What if I uh, speed up time? Is it... Does it do anything? No, that shadow is just forever there. What, what is causing that shadow? That's very, very mysterious. I've not seen anything like that before. Okay, so anyways, let's check the stats of this planet. 
Okay, so that is a very strange mass loss sort of stat there. 99.3 Earth similarity. Pretty good. And then 67 on life. Not bad. It's also got a magnetic field. Maybe it's the magnetic field causing it. Wait, is this the wrong way round? Usually, usually this area here. Usually this is the, the back. How, how in the world is it facing the wrong way? Is it because there's two stars? It must be. So I'm guessing well, the other star's over there, isn't it? Okay, so I'm guessing that's why. I think the two stars are sort of like glitched out the magnetic field. That is because it's facing that way. It's facing the dwarf star when it should be facing that, I'm assuming. That's very, very strange. I've not seen that before. Anyways, anyways, let's move on. So why did I say anyways twice? Anyways, um, oh, I said there's a third time there. Okay, so yeah, let's move on. Okay, so we've got Tanko there. I, I use the word anyways way too much. <laughs> oh, and this has also got that problem with it what have we got on flashlight mode does it go away there we go so it goes away so this is a yellow venus i really like these venus like planets especially in like yellow and blue they look really really cool so it's also got a purple surface below so um we can't really see it so we'll have to obviously take this off so there we go there it is below oh look at that that looks awesome so there we go very very nice underneath that does look really really cool so yeah that is tanko there very nice indeed. I, I like that. That is a cool planet. So, yeah, we've got Tanko there. It's also at 12 degrees. Any water. It's got 95 similarity, 22 on likelihood. And it has just a tiny bit of water there. Okay. Right, let's move on. So, next up, we've got Datto over here. Oh, and this is looking pretty cool. Ooh, look at this. It's like a... um, Is this like a purple cloudy or like a white cloudy? Let's... I think it's like a white cloudy atmosphere, actually. That's pretty, pretty cool. I like that. So there we go. So it's at 12 degrees as well. 27 on the Earth's humanity, but zero on the likelihood. I'm guessing cause it's got no water on it. It reflects a lot of light, so it's really, really cold here. I don't know why it's at 12 degrees, but if it reflects 100% of the light, it should be uh, completely at zero. And it's also got a little moon here. Valita, I think is how you say this guy. So here it is. Very, very small indeed. How large is this thing? 300 um, radius. 392. And then this is... Si oh, this is 60,000. That's an enormous rocky planet. I don't know if it's as big as Big Rock, but we'll get a comparison here. So, Big Rock. Here it is. So, my giant rocky planet. Yeah. See, my, this is still large, though. Big Rock's just enormous. But there it is. That's my uh, crazy rocky planet there. Got, there's two of them. So, yeah. There's there's Big Rock. But, yeah. Still a very, very large rocky planet. Very nice. 9.99 Earths as well. Okay. Next up, we've got Gatton. Ooh, it's a rainbow-like object. Let's see what we've got here. Ooh, look at this. Ooh, very nice. So, got green in the north there. Obviously modded as well. This isn't something you get in the game normally. So green, red, Neptune blue, red. Ah, no green in the south. I reckon um, to an improve to a to, or a way to improve this. Maybe have green at the bottom as well because it goes green, red, blue, red, but then no green again. Yeah, but that's still cool. I really like the way that looks. Actually, that that is pretty sweet. But yeah, yeah, I'd reckon um, a little tip from me is add green on the south of it as well. But um, yeah, next up we've got Carla here. So just a. Uh, all dark green moon then we've got taco over here going more of a blue and gray color there i really like that that is that is pretty nice okay next up we've got tasco here oh look at this oh okay this has got climate mode i can tell straight away that's got climate mode on it just by the way the ice is look, that's it without and that's it with but yeah that's looking pretty interesting so it's going with the uh neptune blue colored atmosphere there so obviously got all these stats on as well any magnetic field in this sky? No magnetic field in this. 90 similarity, 60 on likelihood. Not bad. It's got a bit of hydrogen in it. Okay, so hydrogen. You can actually have some likelihood with hydrogen around. Okay. So there it is there. Tasco. I really like the blue on that. That is that is pretty sweet. So at minus 22 degrees right now. So I'm pretty sure if this guy warmed up, it would be even better with the um, likelihood stats. So there it is there. So it's actually got some city lights going on as well. Look at that. So there he is, looking good. That that shadow is weird though. What is, I'm guessing it's because there's a second star. That's very strange though, because I've never had that in any of my systems. Okay, so there we go. there's a barrier center here. So he's made use of the barrier center. These things are to keep the center of mass. Yeah, barrier center is the center of mass of two or more bodies that are orbiting each other, or the point around where they both orbit. So this is where both their gravities interacts almost. I believe is the way it works. I never use barrier centers, but I've always known about them. I'm not really being bothered to use them but yeah there's a barrier center there okay next up we got um vernissa so this is the white dwarf oh actually it's still quite large actually uh, as a white dwarf look at that so if we could do it in suns 0.7 suns in size that's a pretty big white dwarf 
Okay, so there it is there. It's obviously not very luminous. 0 0.5 suns. Okay, so the first planet around here. Oh, it's a colonized Mars, it looks like. So, Mantan. Here it is here. So, yeah, colonized Mars. Look at that. So, with a, it has a blue um, highlight color on it. It's obviously a blue line. It's got the old, good old red atmosphere on it as well. Very nice. Climate mode is switched on as well. Yeah, yeah, there's climate mode. So, looking good. The stats on this. Okay, so composition. 81.4 and that on that good. Actually, I've got a challenge to you guys. Anyone who um, likes doing the um, similarity and likelihood stats, see if you can get a Mars with 100 on both stats. See if it's possible. You can make the planet bigger, smaller, any way you want. It's just it's got to keep the original Mars texture and atmosphere. And, and you can use climate mode as well. But let's see. Is it possible to get a Mars with 100 on both stats? There's a little challenge for you. Is it possible? Because I've tried before and I've never really gone too much into it, but... Yeah, I've never got 100 on these, but yeah, is it possible? See if uh, many of you guys can get 100 on both stats on a regular Mars. So got you can't mod the game at all. You can't do any modding. You literally spawn a Mars in, and you got to play around with it until you get 100 on both stats. You can use any star you want. That's my uh, challenge for you guys. So I'll, I'll be really interested to see if anyone can actually do that. That'd be awesome. But um, yeah, there is a uh, Mantan there. Okay, so next up we've got Taran here. Also going with that Neptune blue colour. Oh, look at the atmosphere on that. Oh, it's very nice. 11 uh, degrees. 99.3 similarity. 67.8 on the likelihood. Pretty high likelihood chance here. Wow, that moon is very, very close. Oh, oh no, don't do that. Control Z. Let's undo. I accidentally clicked the wrong button there. So you've got Tasso here. So this is just a rocky object. As we can see, very, very large as well. So I'm guessing the mass on this is really low. Yeah, one Earth compared to three moons. Very similar in size, though. Look, see, this is this is based off an Earth, like six three seven three. That's very very close to Earth's radius. Like if we look here, it pretty much says it is one Earth. So, yeah, there is Taran. Okay, next up we've got Narax. Now I think this is the last object in the system. But oh, that's looking good. Look at that. That reminds me of my original Planet Nine because I actually had a Planet Nine. None of you guys have ever seen it, and that is because it's deleted now. But it used to be a blue with white striped planet. It's a shame I deleted it. I shouldn't have done it, but because that was quite a cool object. Uh, my original Planet Nine, but it was, yeah, it was a white with blue stripe planet, so, similar, something similar to this. But um, I think it, it was white in the top and south. I know that north and south are white, and then a like blue, a blue stripe on it. But yeah, very, very cool indeed. I like that. That is a nice looking gas jam. Hundred degrees on here. Then it's got a moon called Wantis. So here, here it is. Here, sixteen degrees. Okay, the stats on this guy: ninety-six and then thirty-four. Not bad. Okay, and it's also got city lights, as we can see here. Very, very cool. And one thing I've noticed as well, the planets here don't have that mysterious shadow on them like we saw in the planets back um, on the other star around there. Oh yeah, back around Andrea. Oh, and and for, I can't say it. Yeah, this around this star here, they don't have that mysterious shadow appearing on them. So pretty weird indeed. But yeah, there we go. So that is it for the Amphora system, guys. So yeah, let me know what you think down below. I think this was a cool little um, binary system here. Very, very nice indeed. And the first system ever to use a battery sensor, I believe, as well. So yeah, there you go. Congrats to Blizmo Games for making this. Um, but yeah, very, very nice indeed. So let's get a line up of all the objects here. Now, I'm pretty sure we can all agree which system of the two is better. So I won't go back to the other simulation, but still, it's pretty cool. But yeah, I'm liking the objects in here. Look at that. Very, very nice system indeed. But Hmm, my favourite. Oh, I really do like this guy. Uh, not this one. Narax. I like that. That is really cool. But yeah, let me know. Guys, what do you which play or which planet in here do you think is the best? There's a really nice list of planets. Like there's some really nice objects in here, so Yeah, but that is that. Yeah, I, my favourite is that one, definitely. Narax is um takes the cake for me. That is a really, really cool looking planet. So um yeah, there we go. So yeah, special thanks to Blizmo Games again for sending this simulation in. Like I said, I'll leave a link to him down below. And yeah, let me know what do you guys think of this um, system. I think this was pretty cool. I, I do like it. Not the biggest system ever, but it doesn't have to be big to be cool. So yeah, very, very nice indeed. Okay, yeah, you can see the city lights on Tasco there as well. But yeah, very, very cool. Definitely a thumbs up from me. I really, really like this. So yeah, that is everything, guys. So if you like this video, make sure you click that like button. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. Helps on the journey to 5,000 subscribers. It's much, much appreciated. Yeah, let's see if we can go for 40 likes on this video as well, guys, because it really helps the channel out a lot. And it brings new people to the channel as well. And also make sure to join my Discord server if you haven't already. So there'll be a link to that down below in this video as well. Um, and it's usually in most videos as well. So yeah, that's that. But yeah, that is everything, guys. So make sure you all have a great day. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.